Ladies and gentlemen, I am trying so hard to create a world where we can trust each other, okay? I, we, we never stop working for you, okay? We will never stop. We will never stop. We love you. This audience is growing very fast. I, you could argue that we have one of the fat. You could argue we have the fastest growing pound for pound uh, audience in the conservative movement right now. And I love you. And I want to start the week by saying thank you to the Benny Brigade. We have some very exciting things coming. You got to join the Benny Brigade. This is a, this is an army. This is an army. This is a brigade inside of the salty army. Where the salt must flow. The salty tears, they drive us and fuel our tanks, and together we shall march and we shall save this great country. We're going to have a lot of fun doing it. We are, we are powered by salt and the caffeine. And ladies and gentlemen, I must always apologize when I've been wrong. And what was I wrong on? I was wrong on Kevin McCarthy. i got to tell you, I was so hard in the paint against Kevin McCarthy because I thought he would cuck out. I thought Kevin McCarthy would betray us. And while there is no such thing as a perfect politician, and whilst um, I can be wrong and apologize to you, I am here to tell you that Kevin McCarthy came through this morning with both barrels on fire saying it's time to impeach. We're going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do it. And for that, I tell you, the Benny Brigade, that, um, you know what? Maybe I misjudged Kevin Hot he's been doing great. He's been doing great. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's chop some wood. Let's start with Kevin McCarthy's tweet here, okay? Kevin McCarthy tweeted this weekend. I said, whoa, this ripped my face off, this tweet. He tweeted this weekend, uh, an absolute flamethrower. Let's get to the facts, he said, quoting the IRS whistleblower, Gary Shapley, testifying that the U.S. attorney in charge of the Hunter Biden investigation lied to Congress said that he could bring all the charges. He was stopped by Merrick Garland. He was halted by the Department of Justice. He wanted to charge Hunter Biden in California and in D.C. with massive tax crimes. They said Hunter didn't pay taxes on $1 million. It was actually nearly $10 million. They said that Hunter Biden is just going to get off with a slap on the wrist with a gun charge. Do you know that's against the rules of the Department of Justice? That... Hundreds of thousands of people have faced massive time in prison and gone to prison for what Hunter Biden did, of course. And they're not even, they, they didn't even touch the real crimes that we're going to get into here. Real crimes like Joe Biden having a secret phone line. Do you know this? Oh, baby. Did you know that Joe Biden had a secret phone line to do all of his dirty business dealings on? Oh, yeah, we're going to get there. But ladies and gentlemen, effectively, they just did a, a hose job, a snow job, a cover-up job, and now the entire regime is crumbling. Now, something we have been right about is that there's going to come a point where they're going to flip a switch on Joe Biden. They're going to flip a switch, and they're going to get rid of the guy. And that time is right now. It's happening, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get, let's get again to the news. Kevin McCarthy tweeted to this revelation, we need to get to the facts. That includes reconciling these clear disparities. U.S. Attorney David Weiss must provide answers to the House Judiciary Committee. If the whistleblower's allegations are true, then that'll be part of a larger impeachment inquiry into Merrick Garland. Whoa! So he sent that out. This was seen by millions of people. And it's like, whoa, what do you mean impeachment inquiry? That's the first time we've heard him talk about this. Kevin McCarthy, Speaker of the House. Well, sure enough, moments ago, uh, on television, Kevin McCarthy said, oh, no, 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 that wasn't, that wasn't just a tweet. Like, we already have the date planned for the impeachment hearings. Hot damn. We out here. Let's go. Salty army. Salt must flow. Go. Miranda Devine says that Joe Biden met with his business partners 12 times, 12 different times and 12 different deals, perhaps. So it's according to Rob Walker, who was in on all this stuff. Good friend. He's all over uh, all over the laptop. So will this prompt you to do a impeachment inquiry? Well, you apparently don't follow me on Twitter because yesterday I laid out very, very clearly by July 6th, because of the allegations from the IRS, because of the whistleblowers and the DOJ, our, our Garland, what he is saying and what David Weiss are saying privately are two different things. Right. And if it comes true what the IRS whistleblower is saying, we're going to start impeachment inquiries on the attorney general. What? 
Lucky for us, we have the actual tape. We have tape of Hunter Biden doing these deals. We have tapes of Joe Biden doing these deals. We have more evidence than we know what to do with. And the only way, the reason why this is smart strategically for Kevin McCarthy, the reason why this is smart strategically is because this is the way that you get the corporate press to actually cover the Biden regime's corruption. No, 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 hear me out here. Ladies and gentlemen, once you have impeachment inquiries, then you got to stop the entire rest of the news cycle. Doesn't matter what happens. They could come up with something. They could blow up, you know, they could they, do whatever, right? Like try and blow up some story here or some story there. Everyone look at the summary. Come on, look at the sub. Oh, wow. Mm -mm, not going to work. Once you launch that impeachment inquiry, once you launch that impeachment the world must stop turning and all the cameras point inward at the impeachment hearing. And then they start laying out. They start dropping bombs. They start laying out on the table the corruption of the Bidens. This is brilliant. This is a smart tactical move. They can begin with this piece of evidence. Merrick Garland saying straight up, I will never interfere in the proceedings against the Bidens. Meanwhile, Merrick Garland under the table texting, drop all the charges, drop all the charges quick. Hunter Biden, you owe me some coke. Go. Under Biden investigation, as I said, even in my own nomination uh, um, confirmation hearing, is being run by and supervised by the United States attorney for the District of Delaware. He is in charge of that investigation. There will not be interference of any uh, uh, political or improper kind. I have pledged not to interfere uh, with that investigation, and I uh, have carried through on my pledge. I have promised to ensure that he's able to carry out uh, his investigation and that he be able to run it. And if he uh, needs to bring it in another jurisdiction, he will have full authority to do that. Okay, so the IRS whistleblower is saying and stating definitively that the DOJ did not allow David Weiss to bring these charges in another district, as Merrick Garland is promising. What did David Weiss try and charge? What was he attempting to charge the Bidens with? We'll never know because the DOJ shut him down. But we know exactly what evidence fell into our hot little hands this last weekend. Here's the text message from Hunter Biden to Henry Zhao, Mr. Chinese agent of the Communist Party where he effectively is talking like some type of mafia boss to this guy saying, I will make certain that between me and the man sitting next to me, his father, Joe Biden, I'm sitting right next to my dad. Everyone misses this part because it's really important. Everyone says, I'm sitting here with my father. That's all they report. No, 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 no. It gets worse than that. I'm going to make sure that every person that he knows and his ability to, for and my ability to forever hold a grudge, sounds like a really nice person. Uh, you will regret not following through in our directions. Guess what happened right after this? Guess what happened right after this was sent to the Communist Party of China? Oh, the Bidens got millions of dollars in their bank accounts. Wow. Lucky for us, we have the big guy. And lucky for us, we have it in writing what the big guy was doing. Leveraging his relationships after 70 years in the U.S. government as a fossil, as a barnacle, the bottom of the USS government boat in order to get cash money into their bank accounts. This is precisely what they were doing the entire time. Lucky for us, we had some reporters finally snap at the White House and start asking about this text message. This text message is one of a, a number of pieces of evidence that would be used inside of an impeachment inquiry that Kevin McCarthy says he is now going to bring, starting on July 6th, important date, July 6th, right after our Independence Day, baby. Are you ready for the greatest Independence Day ever? We've got some big things planned. Ladies and gentlemen, Corinne Jean-Pierre was asked about this live on Friday. Of course, our show had already broadcast. We were able to put up the clips on social media, but we have to elucidate for you what a glorious moment this was. Hot diggity. Yo, like, do you realize that Corinne Jean-Pierre was asked for five straight minutes at the White House by CNN, NBC News, CBS News about the Biden corruption? Not just by Newsmax and the New York Post, by all of the corporate news outlets in the front row. She had to effectively run out of the room with her hair on fire and her nose about 20 feet long. I don't know. I got dad jokes. I got kids. We watch Pinocchio. What do you want from me? Cringe Jean Pierre had her first day at the White House that was reminiscent of kind of like what Sarah Sanders or 
Kayleigh McEnany had to deal with. Like an actual press that was adversarial and was looking for answers on controversial topics that are going to make uh, the president look very, very bad. It was a beauty, baby. And this is our cringe, nuclear cringe of the day. Let's go. President invited his son Hunter to the state dinner last night. Um, I'm wondering if you could take us into the thinking and the decision making of why uh, the president decided to invite. I, I'm just not going to get into family discussion, personal family discussion. If Hunter Biden wasn't the president's son, would he have invited someone who had just reached a plea agreement with federal prosecutors well, two days earlier? A couple of things. Again, that's his son. It's a, he's a family member. It is not uncommon for family members to attend. The President of the United States was involved, as this message seems to suggest, in some sort of a coercive conversation for business dealings by a son. Is that something, if he wasn't, then maybe you should tell us. So here's the thing, I, and I appreciate the question. I believe my colleague uh, at the White House Council uh, has answered this question already. He has to share. I just, I just answered the question. I just answered the question. Yes or no, was the president involved in the shakedown attempt? Stephen, Stephen, I just answered the question. I just said, I just this is, it's not up to you how I answer the question. I just answer the question by telling you my colleagues at the White House Council. You've stated that the president stands by his comment from the 2020 campaign that he never once discussed his son's overseas business dealings with his son. And you stood at that podium and you reaffirmed that. Do you stand by your reaffirmation? I, what I will say is nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. And I will leave it there. Mm. Has nothing changed, cringe? Ladies and gentlemen, here we have reporting that the Bidens got 5.5 million bucks into their bank accounts. Have you ever received 5.5 million dollars from the Chinese party? What kind of massages do you give? Ladies and gentlemen, they were plunking that money into the Bidens bank account like it was a China buffet, like they were at uh, the Panda Express and they went through and got double helpings of General Sows, General So's, General Corruptions chicken. Senate report, Biden business received $5.1 million. 10 days of Biden's WhatsApp text saying, what's up? I'm sitting next to dad. You better give us that money. Otherwise, I'm going to send Biden, I'm going to send Pop in to sniff you. How you like that, Xi Jinping? You're going to be sitting there in your Winnie the Pooh outfit and behind you, you're going to feel a presence. And then you're going to get a little, you don't want that. You don't want that smoke from my dad. That's what Hunter Biden effectively saying, and the Chinese paid. $5.1 million in payments from the Chinese business partner, Henry Zhao, within 10 days of the text. <laughs> they're, so, they're, ladies and gentlemen, OJ Simpson sitting there being like, man, I left less evidence at the crime scene than the Bidens. Henry Zhao, influential in forming a Chinese investment fund, had deep ties to the Chinese intelligence regime, according to Breitbart News senior contributor and Government Accountability Institute, President Peter Schweitzer. And we'll get more from Peter in just a moment. In 2017, Henry Zhao worked with the Chinese energy conglomerate, CEFC. This was the Chinese energy conglomerate that the Bidens were trying to sell American natural gas to. The Bidens wanted to rip our energy out of, our, out of the ground and then sell it to the communist Chinese. Okay, so they wanted to strip mine America. This is the easiest way to see the Bidens, okay? Parasites. They are parasitical, all right? like a mosquito or like a leech or a tick. They are parasitical. They wish to suck the blood. They wish to suck literally the energy out of the ground. This was the, this was the thing. This is not a metaphor. This is like what they were going to do. They were going to suck the energy out of the soil in America, suck our precious material out of the ground, and then hand it over to the communist Chinese. Little simps, little Chinese simps, this family. And then they were going to get paid for that. They're going to get paid for it. We literally, we have the Hunter Biden voicemail. What up, Hunter Biden voicemail? Why not, why not play the Hunter Biden voicemail? We have him saying he's going to create the largest LNG port in the world and hand it over to the communist Chinese. We have Hunter Biden on tape saying it. So uh, might as well, right? Might as well. The screen chapter, the screen, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of background as to what's actually going on here. So this Henry Zhao is the guy who's supposed to pay the Bidens in order to get American natural gas. And the, and the energy from America. These people are parasites. 
They are ticks that have burrowed in to our culture and are ripping out the value that exists inside of this nation. Ladies and gentlemen, they are blackmailing and using politics in order to blackmail, using their political office in order to blackmail people into giving them cash money. Jesse Waters made this point, and we thought it was really, really well stated. Jesse, go. If everybody that did drugs didn't pay their taxes, we'd have no revenue. That is so true. On drugs. That's not an excuse. This entire table. The feds are never going to crack open the laptop as long as Joe Biden's president. Joe Biden, his administration is not going to investigate corruption in the Biden family. It's just not going to happen. Plus, the FBI and the CIA has this as blackmail. They can just dangle it in front of Joe and he has to do whatever they say or else, boop, there it goes open. The only way it comes open if a Republican gets into the White House. And so they're going to do everything they can to prevent a Republican from getting into the White House because the laptop is basically tells everybody how guilty the entire system is. Mm. Very interesting, that. Very interesting. Let me make something very, very clear here. Uh, This is something we've been illuminating for the better part of the last three years. Joe Biden is a is a owned and operated Muppet. They know his crimes. The reason that people are reporting on him right now is that they've seen the internal polling and they know that Joe Biden uh, is going to have a tough time in 2024. They are turning on Joe. They are going to crack that sucker open. They're going to finally unleash the hounds of the corporate media on Joe. Are you seeing this starting to build up? And it's not because they have any type of like greater angels inside of them. And by they, I mean the people actually in charge of this country, the government on top of the government, the unelected super state that exists long past any particular administration we may put in there. They exist before and after the super state, the real government, the real institutions in our country. They know that this text is real. Hunter Biden's lawyer knows that this text is real. You do, do, Did you see the reporting? You probably didn't because you'd all mi- you'd miss it. That Hunter Biden's lawyer admitted that this all happened. This ain't something made up. This text saying I'm here with my father and you better give us the money. Hunter Biden's lawyer said, oh, yeah, that's real. Oh, but you see, Hunter was on drugs. That's why we shouldn't worry about that. He was on drugs. Go. He brought up text messages and things that he said implicated suggestions of other potential issues that needed to be investigated. But he said that he was being stymied um, by the Justice Department during this investigation. Um, Christopher Clark, who's an attorney for Hunter Biden, says this. Any verifiable words or actions of my client in the midst of a horrible addiction are solely his own and have no connection to anyone in his family. Any suggestion the investigation was not thorough or cut corners or cut my client any slack is preposterous and deeply irresponsible. Wait a second. So Hunter Biden's lawyer says that this is all real. They are trapped. Maybe this is why Joe Biden spent the weekend not in Delaware, but inside of a military base called Camp David, which is a specialized military base where you're not allowed to be spied upon. Where the president goes during wartime and who do who do you drag along? Old Hunter. You know, they need privacy these days and they needed privacy actually in the earlier days. Did you know that Joe Biden had a secret phone line installed that this is? 100,000 times worse than anything Hillary Clinton did. And Hillary Clinton deserves to be in prison for the rest of her life and should be. But Joe Biden, as vice president, had a private phone line installed so that he could start doing the old big guy routine with some of the most evil regimes on planet Earth. This is something that exploded on the scene this weekend. We thought that you should know. Listen. New information this morning, uh, breaking news on a cell phone that Joe Biden was using. Tell us about that. Uh, Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. What is the line of communications between Hunter Biden and his business partners and Joe Biden when he's vice president of the United States? It's not the government phone. It's not Joe Biden's personal phone. We know from the laptop that 
Hunter Biden's business paid for a private phone line that Joe Biden used while he was vice president. It was from AT&T. It was $300 a month. It was a global phone where you could access somebody anywhere around the world. Uh, we shared that phone number and that account information with people at the House Oversight Committee. My hope is that, that they haven't already. They will subpoena those records because I think it will give an indication on how tight the communication was. Uh, and that may be the phone for example, that the Ukrainian, the Burisma executive might have used uh, in this allegation uh, that he talked to Joe Biden in re recorded conversations. My God, wait a second. So Joe Biden had a private server while he was vice president? At least Hillary Clinton, at least Hillary Clinton sent most of her illegal emails after she was out of the State Department and preparing to run for president. She had all that secret stuff housed away. And she maintained it after she was out of the State Department. Joe Biden was doing this whilst vice president, arguably the most second most powerful position in the world, because, well, he's second in line for the presidency. My God, what conversations could he have been having? Well, Sure would be inconvenient for Joe if we were to have some of those voicemails and some of that voice texting on Hunter Biden's laptop. And we could uh, pluck some of the old voice messages of Hunter Biden talking about this Chinese deal and his dad and his involvement in it. That would be really inconvenient. Boy, that'd be that'd suck to have that evidence if you were trying to go into a court of law and argue that Joe knew nothing about this. If he had his own uh, son talking about it, I'm like, oh, hold on. My producer's telling me something. My pro Oh, my God, ALX, we actually do have that voicemail? We actually do have Hunter Biden literally describing this criminal deal with the communist Chinese and the feds looking into his father about it? Oh, well, hot damn. We might as well play it for the audience. Here you go. Have a listen. I get calls from my father to tell me that the New York Times is calling, but my old partner, Eric, who literally has done me harm for I don't know how long, is the one taking the calls because my father will not stop sending the calls to Eric. I have another New York Times reporter calling about my representation of the, literally, Dr. Patrick Coe, the spy chief of China who started the company that my partner, who was worth $323 billion, found it. It is now missing. And I am receiving calls from the Southern District of New York, from the U.S. Attorney himself. My best friend in business, Devin, has named me as a witness without telling me. In a criminal case, and my father, without telling me. Oh, interesting. They've named his father in a criminal case for selling American natural gas to the Chinese, not listing themselves as a foreign agent, taking bribes. Oh, that's interesting. We have Hunter Biden just spilling his guts out as the gin bottle rattles next to him. I was I love that clip because you can hear him rattling the old the old liquor cart, <laughs> the, old, the old vodka cart. You can hear it in case you doubt the authenticity of that clip.